there is a story that upon exiting the Constitutional Convention, Benjamin Franklin was approached by a group of citizens asking what sort of government the delegates had created. His answer was, a republic if you can keep it. The analysis of the founding is that it was first a revolt against the monarchy and then a counter-revolution against democracy. There's no question that the men who met in Philadelphia had direct financial interests in the outcome. They were also motivated by the usual stuff like patriotism, regional loyalty, and petty stupidity. More important is the fact that people who drive history have personal interests. The men who revolted against the king did so because they saw an advantage in it. Once they gained control of the country, they were not about to give it away or arrange things to their disadvantage. After all, the whole point of the revolution was to get a better deal. Political arrangements are not about ideals. They are about power. A Republic If You Can Keep It by Patrick C. Cantor Sr. is written from the point of view of the Founding Father. Available now at patsanswers.com forward slash blog. Click on the store tab. $16.99 plus $5 shipping and handling. Buy it today.